Okay, this video is to show you now how to use the Google Alerts that you've created to uh, end up building links into your uh, site um, and into your other properties, external uh, links. So, you know, you've created your, your Squiddoo uh, lenses, you've created your hub pages, you've posted articles to article directories, um, you have these pages now linking into um, both your main page, your home page, and your silos, and your deep pages like your article pages or, co or product pages of your site. And uh, now the, j the job is to boost the value of those links going into your site from Squiddoo hub pages and these external articles by building links into those properties. So everything is going to channel you know, forward, and uh, we'll refer to the diagram I showed you in the, uh, one of the first videos, one second. So if you remember this diagram, these are your hub pages, your Squiddoo lenses, and your, uh, your articles that have been distributed around the internet all going into different pages of your site. So, you know, here you'll recall you have your, um, you know, your main page your, uh, of Squiddoo, your pod page of Squiddoo, the articles on Squiddoo, and all these things are feeding in. So these are the little e-circles that you see over here are these uh, links coming in. Now, the idea is that these links coming in to your uh, pages on your site now need to get increased to value by having links coming into them. So, you know, you've got this content up and you've got these links going in, but those links are going to be like PR0, PR1, and the, the benefit of doing these pages on Squiddoo and doing them on Hub Pages is that um, you will automatically get over time an increase in PR score on them because of the nature of Squiddoo and Hub Pages, where every time a Hub Page is displayed or a Squiddoo lens is displayed, it also displays other similar pages, which I'm going to show you right now. So here I am at HubPages.com, and I just did a search for hair removal. And as you can see here, there are a lot of Hub Pages that have been created by Hub Page members talking about hair removal. I'm just going to click on the first one here just for uh, illustrative purposes. And so here's somebody's uh, page on hair removal, and if you look at these links, um, they go to different pages. Um, you know, uh, some of them go to Wikipedia pages, and I'm not sure, you know, why that's necessary, but this link here goes to a site called aboutpermanentlaserhairremoval.com, which I'm assuming is this person's site, or maybe they're just linking there for reference purposes. But what I wanted to show you is that... Um, these pages um, always have this little related hubs, and it has links to other hubs, other hub pages on hub pages. And these are not by the same guy, necessarily, usually not. So there might be somebody else who wrote a page on male body shaving, and because somebody is on this page, hub pages by default is going to show links to other articles on hub pages. And because of these links automatically showing up from this page to that page, and they're all theme relevant, um, then this page on hair removal treatment is going to get a boost from the link from this page. So that's one of the benefits, and the same thing happens on Squiddoo, um, and you know that's the benefit of, of creating your external content pages on services like Hub Pages and Squiddoo. Um, you automatically are going to get an increase in page rank score over time as um, you know you create more and more content and more and more other people's pages are going to be linking to your pages because they're all theme relevant. So we're going to pick this up in the next video.